So that's without the extra eight, eight um, point eight pounds, um, point eight pounds for the foam. Die from the bags is getting on. That's, I'm trying to figure out a way I can do it with this. Yeah, sweet. So today is. I just did two clips. I can't show my nudity, so hey. Uh, yeah, hey, 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 why? Um, but yeah, so since this is for YouTube and Facebook, um, I'm not dating them all. And in uh, Miami. Close to Kindle. If I'm not in Kindle, I'm close to Kindle. If I'm not in Pinecrest, I'm close to Pinecrest. So, this is South Miami. South Miami. Well, I'm well, I'm into, not only is there a city called South Miami, there's literally south of downtown. So, it's like South Miami, literally.
Yeah, um, probably should go to these. <laughs> Make it a boom. Um, so, time to do something to my hair. And can you tell that uh, it's weird, but my roots are growing black during some seasons of the year. But if you look closely, it, it's growing in blind in small spots in that same season. I'm on four axes, right, left, top, and bottom. I'm right, left, top, and back. It's crazy. All right, so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 um, let's go. So they don't have the um, gender neutral bathrooms at this particular mall, but this is Dayland Mall, Miami-Dade County. Yeah, so. There's a Tesla here. So I've shown you Aventura Mall and um, that's what the fifth largest mall. This mall is, I think, 1.4 million square feet. It started out at 700,000 square feet in 1962. Um, older than, I think, the initial mall that I showed you in my hometown of Raleigh, or not that I've had a home in the past decade, but when I visited very many times and I hold dear to my heart, it's like 1.326 million square feet. So at 1.4, this is slightly larger. However, it was built 10 years earlier. Crabtree Valley Mall was built in 1962. I mean, 1972. This was built in 1962. However, it was built smaller than Crabtree initially. Again, 700,000 square feet. But at this point, it is... It is at 1.4, 1.4 million square feet. This is a touch menu. Uh, let's see, 1029 AM. Today is the 1st of June, um, 2023. Another mall that's in town, it looks kind of like a, uh, sort of like a swap meet, but a little bit upper, like a upper than a swap meet because it's semi-formal like this, but it's an indoor mall, but um, 
it's like a mix. It's called Dolphin Mall. And I think their food court might be a little bit bigger as well here. So those are three malls that are in Miami. Dolphin Mall, Jalen Mall, and Aventura Mall, which is the largest, fifth largest in the United States. And I was sat in front of Jackson Memorial Hospital for like two hours and a half last night before I realized I was on the wrong stop. I'm um, waiting on the night owl, but some buses do run all night here. But, um, but I realized Jackson Memorial at the Civic Center Metro stop in Miami, maybe at one point was the largest hospital in the United States, but it's um, one of the University of Miami, which I did do a video on. If you looked lower down on my Facebook page, if you're viewing this on Facebook or on YouTube, um, I believe that video's on YouTube as well, in the University of Miami video. I did show a small portion of the university. It's a private university. And, um, and so, it's one of their, it's their hospital, but it's at 15, over 1,500 beds, 1,550 beds. It's now the fourth largest. The largest is in um, hmm, Orlando, Orlando, with over 1,700 beds. And then there's one in California and one in, um, one in uh, there's one in California and there's one in um, somewhere else as far as the largest hospitals in terms of beds I don't know about square footage I will say that it is really big because it surrounds the metro stop which is big in itself but it's on one side of the street but then it's on the left side of the street come to find out as I found out last night as well as be uh, across the street still further down so it's has its square footage. I was guesstimating that its value is about a billion dollars. They did do a $121 million upgrade according to an article I read online. But um, I was guesstimating since I, if you do, if you do view my video that uh, mentions the $400 million cost of Wake Medical Hospital, the hospital that I was born in, um, I'm guesstimating that, that the Jackson Memorial one is a, a little over double that amount just based off of looks. So it looks like today's date is the 1st of um, first of June. Yeah, but if you look at that hospital um, in comparison, just, just off of site's view, off of the uh, unofficial like surveys, I, surveyor's eye of my own, then I'm, I'm 